everyone and welcome back to Rawlins. We've been closed now for quite some time but we're ready to start opening our site to some of our Year 10 and our Year 12 pupils. This video is an informational video to give you some idea of what it will be like when we do open the doors in a week's time. First of all, I'd like you to pay attention to Miss Green and notice how far away she is from me right now. So our first request for you all when travelling to school, in school, around site and leaving is to maintain social distancing. This is how far we need you to keep from everyone on site. Try your hardest, it's very hard to do so, but we know you can. So before you come to school, it's really important that you have your temperature taken. If you have a high temperature or you're showing any signs of COVID, you really mustn't come into school. You'll be given a gate in which to enter. You'll be met there by a member of staff. Good morning. Who will mark you off on the register. If you go to the wrong gate, you won't be able to access the site because that will mean you're crossing a zone. If you get to school and the gate's closed, you will not be able to access the site. So it's really, really important that you get here on time. Please remember that there are other ways of coming to Rawlins other than using public transport. And we really would like to dissuade you from using public transport as much as possible. So consider walking, cycling, or using a car. If you do get dropped off at Rawlins, you must make sure that you're dropped off a minimum of 100 metres away from the Rawlins site. If you're a Year 12 pupil, you won't be allowed to leave the site during the school day. You'll be allowed to come here for your first lesson and leave after your last lesson, but there'll be no coming and going through the school day. So please make sure you become fully equipped. Also remember that the weather is a bit changeable at the moment. One minute it's raining, one minute it's sun shining. So just make sure you're dressed appropriately for the weather. In terms of uniform, you don't have to wear full school uniform in that you don't have to wear a blazer or a tie, but the rest of the rules are exactly the same. If you're in post 16, the same dress code applies. Please can you make sure that your clothes are fully laundered before you come onto the school site. You must have your lanyard on you at all times. This is one of the ways, as you know, that we verify your identity. Okay, the weather's looking a little bit like it's gonna rain, so let's go inside. So on entry into the classroom, you'll be assigned a desk. Um, you'll notice that we've removed every other chair from the desks, and this is to help us maintain social distancing. If you are a Year 10 pupil, this will remain your seat for the morning. If you are a Year 12 pupil, you will be moving between different classrooms because of your options. You must make sure that you're fully equipped for your lessons, so we do expect you to have pen, pencil, ruler, calculator, anything that you're going to need during the school day. We will not be able, to, unfortunately, to supply you with equipment. Uh, the only thing we're going to be able to supply you with is a pencil. As always, we have really high expectations of behaviour, and this is even more important during this period. Um, if your behaviour falls below what we expect, you do run the risk of being sent home. You also need to know that you need to make sure you go to the toilet before you come to your lessons because to reduce traffic around the site you will not be able to go to the toilet during lesson times and if you want to have water you need to make sure you have that with you as well. You will of course be able to um, go to the toilet during break times. Now more than ever it's really important to maintain good hygiene and we do expect you to wash your hands throughout the school day. As an absolute minimum, you need to wash your hands before you enter the classroom, at the beginning of break time, at the end of break time, and if you're post 16, at the beginning of lunch time and at the end of lunch time. You must wash your hands for a minimum of 20 seconds, singing along to happy birthday if that helps you to remember, and make sure that you do wash them thoroughly. There will be additional um, hand washing facilities around the site, as well as hand sanitizer for you to use. There will be staggered breaks and lunch times to minimise the amount of traffic that's around the site. Please can I remind you that when you're not in the classroom to maintain a safe distance of at least two metres from the person in front, behind or next to you. There will be one-way systems in place and it's really important that you pay attention to any signage that's around the site and remember that it is there for your safety. You will have the opportunity to purchase food. Um, this will be available via a Google form that you'll need to pre-order the night before. If you do want to bring in a packed lunch, that is absolutely fine. The school will be divided up into distinct zones or bubbles. You'll be told more about this on your first day in school, but once you know what zone or bubble you are in, you really mustn't cross that zone or bubble. That includes going to the toilet. Um, there will also be separate eating areas um, for different groups of students. 
Also to minimise any issues to do with hygiene, we're now enforcing a very strict no mobile phone policy across the whole school. If you have your mobile phone on you, you must put it into your bag switched off. If we do see your mobile phone, we will confiscate it and this is for hygiene reasons. For Year 10s, at the end of the school day you'll be escorted to a gate by your teacher. Please can we really enforce the importance of social distancing while you're not at Rawlings. For Year 12s, you'll be able to leave the building once you've had your final lesson. You'll need to sign out at the Post 16 Centre only using your own pen. Please do not share pens. We know things are different and we know things have changed, but please be reassured that this is for your safety. I've been in school quite a lot over the last few weeks. It's felt really empty without having you all here. So I'm going to speak for the whole leadership team and the whole staff base when we say we can't wait to have you back. So we'll see you soon.